Hi there. I just want to talk a little bit about developing a high-performing team. Now, if you're a team leader and you're trying to turn a mediocre or a low-performing team into a high-performing team, then the question is, where do you start? Well, the place to start is actually with the relationship dimension. You see, teams are made up of two dimensions. There's the task that needs to be done, which is obviously the job that's required in council, but there's also the relationship dimension as well. And I find that team leaders will often spend the obligatory one day working on the relationship dimension, put that aside, and then on it is with the, with the task dimension. So I'd strongly recommend that you spend more time working on the relationship dimension. In fact, research demonstrates clearly that all high-performing teams work very, very hard on the relationship dimension of teamwork. And if you think about that whole dimension of relationships, there's your relationship with your individual team members. There's their relationship with each other. And that's your team's relationship with your stakeholders. So it's quite a complex array of relationships that have to be managed. But we do know that high-performing teams work very hard at that dimension. And I think if you work hard on that dimension, you're likely to assist to develop that high-performing team. Now, you might say, was is the relationship dimension completely distinct from the task dimension? Absolutely not. We do know that misunderstandings, miscommunications, mishaps will often occur in a team around misunderstandings around communication. It's normally the relationship dimension that brings a team undone. So we've got a lunch and learn program coming up later this month, and we strongly urge you to, to engage in that because in that lunch and learn series, I go through in very thorough ways what you need to do to build that relationship dimension. And if you do that, you've got a much better chance of developing a high-performing team.